Hello guys and welcome to my kitchen. The recipe I will show you today is a scrumptious version of our favorite comfort food, stuffed crust pizza. Cream cheese stuffed crust made from scratch and then topped with more cheese for the yummiest pizza. Just bake it until golden and enjoy. So guys, let's begin with our favorite pizza. Today I will show you a trick how you can make your pizza to look like a wooden oven baked pizza. But actually you will cook your pizza at home. So the trick is very simple and the only thing you have to do is to take a pan and just saute some semolina. This procedure will take no more than two to three minutes and it's a great trick to make everybody think that actually this is a wooden oven pizza. And let's prepare our dough. The dough will be easy cheesy, so we will not uh, need any yeast. We want to make a speedy pizza dough. That's why the only ingredients that I will use is some water, the flour, of course, this is a self-raising flour and some salt and why not some extra virgin. So this is it. And as you can see, can you see the color of the semolina? It starts getting brown and this is exactly what we want. And finito. Now, don't forget, we have to transfer that very quick to a bowl because actually it will carry on cooking inside that pan. So please take it out. And now you have two options. The first option is to take some of it and put it into the dough of your pizza to give that uh, crustiness and that uh, chewiness. And the second option is to roll out the dough with this semolina. You pick what you want. I prefer to do the second one and I will show you how. Now, for the dough, the things are very simple. We have to mix everything together. Here, first with a spoon. I love this recipe. Actually, I like to uh, actually do that because, you know, the dough for a bread, it's so special, you know? If you don't care about it, it will not care either. So, if you know exactly what you are doing, the dough always get nice and full of taste. But if you don't want to do it and you do it because you have to, then somehow always the dough is not right. So please, give some love and try to think the people you are cooking for, even if it is yourself, doesn't matter because all this loveliness getting through this lovely dough. Now, my dough is ready. If you don't have time, you can carry on and uh, actually roll out the dough. But if you have time, please let it stand on the side for about 30 minutes because it will be more elastic and more sexy. Actually, we need that time because we want the semolina to get cold. So, this and this go on the side for about 30 minutes. I already prepared some semolina and I already prepared a dough to carry on the procedure, okay? Now, the whole thing is very easy. And as you can see, after 30 minutes, it's something else. It's more elastic and more easy to handle. That's why I will use this one. And first, I will make stretching. So, this is a trick like this. Now, I have my golden semolina over here and I will roll out my dough with this semolina. So actually, somehow, I will take the impression that my pizza is a wooden oven baked pizza, okay? So, use a clean film or use a rolling film. It doesn't matter, it's the same thing. And roll out the dough. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, the only thing that you have to consider is to make sure that your dough is easily slipping out of the pan. Does it? So, I will turn it over and I will put more semolina because I want to slip on the pan because I want to transfer this pizza inside my oven. Now, can you see that? It's shaking. Now, before I bake my pizza, I have to show you another trick, how to make your oven extremely hot and extremely sexy. Take out the excess semolina because we don't want to eat. And 
I already preheated my oven to 230 degrees Celsius, the maximum of the oven. And uh, inside I have a pan and I already preheated my pan because I want to transfer the dough up to the hot pan and actually take this lovely crust underneath. You got it? Now, I want to make a stuffed pizza. So the only thing to consider is how to stuff my pizza. Easily, you can use any cheese you like, from mozzarella to gorgonzola. But for me, it's better to use a cream cheese. Cream cheese is always easy to handle. And of course, everybody loves it. So, take your cream cheese, and spread it around to the edges, like this. Easy, right, Michalis? Yeah. Now, take the edges and cover the cream cheese. Of course, you can use some water to stick better, but don't worry. It's a nice dough, but if you think that it's gonna open and the cream cheese will go inside the pizza, add some water but I will not, it's perfect, right? And now it's time to load up this bad boy with plenty of flavor. I will use some simple ingredients that you have at home. First of all, barbecue sauce. Everybody have a barbecue sauce and everybody loves barbecue sauce. Of course, barbecue sauce is a barbecue sauce. Nobody can resist in this lovely sauce. Now, barbecue sauce and plenty of cheese. Here I have three varieties of cheese. This is mozzarella. Okay, so what do you think is that one? Creer cheese, yeah? And I will give you another more chance. What is that one? Of course, Semedal. So I don't know why we didn't put another more cheese to name this pizza for cheese pizza. But anyway, we have three cheeses here. And if you add a little bit of Parmesan, then you have a four cheese pizza. I forget the cream cheese, okay? So actually we have a four cheese pizza bread. I will add some more lovely cream cheese on top, right? And now it's time for the oven. My oven is extremely hot, my pan is extremely hot, and the only thing I have to do is what? Okay? Close the oven, and 12 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 18 minutes, about that. It depends from the heat of your oven. We want a golden crust on top, we want a golden crust on cheese, we want um, a nice smell to our room, and when we have all of that, then the pizza is ready. And the pizza is ready. Lovely. The beauty that I told you, look at that. It actually looks like a wooden stove baked. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Of course, when you have a fresh pizza, you have to cut it through when it's still hot. Six pieces, eight pieces, four pieces. Six. And look at this. And look at this. There is stuffing on the edges. And of course, there are four cheeses in the middle. And this is something else. Can you see that? It can hold its shape because actually, the base is crunchy and exactly how it should be. This is the perfect speedy pizza that you can make at home. And actually, you will think that this is an Italian restaurant that made you this pizza. Don't forget to make comments under in the video, share this lovely recipe with your friends, and, and of course, subscribe to my channel. If you have time, check my website, and of course, my social media. See you guys, bye bye, yasas.